We'll go now to the West Cane Fremantle. They're within a game of the top eight now, and they did the job on the Gold Coast Suns. Four goals direct from centre bounce. And we'll get to the players that they were missing, but Gold Coast, the worst team out of the centre bounce this year. So they get a look at that. They've kicked seven goals only out of seven bounce this year, and, and Fremantle for Sean Darcy, 23rd birthday today. He's maybe the most underrated player in the competition, I reckon, Darcy. He's going to be a force for a long, long time. And they just had their way. Like, this is just training drill stuff out of the middle of the ground where the opposition don't actually touch you. And you just go bang, bang, bang. That's beautifully done as you would do at training. So another four goals out of centre bounce. They were just all over Gold Coast today. And I do like the way that, that Fremantle, I, I like their game style. I like the mix of the offensive style and defensive style. I think um, Justin Longmuir is coaching his young players the right way. Saron gets another run with role today, which sets him up well. So I think they've got a good balance. Their next step and the next evolution is doing it against the good sides away from home. As for the Dockers, one man who's uh, enjoyed his fair share, or not enjoyed, spent his fair share of team, uh, time on that injury list, Alex Pierce, his first game back since round one, second game since 2019, absolutely dominated Ben King in this one. First time Ben King's been kept goalless all year. So it was heartbreaking when he went down in round one, wasn't it, after being out for so long. And you forget what a, just a good player he is, how strong he is one-on-one. -on -one. Um, he was able to compete with King. Like King's strength is his real speed. Now, in the one-on-one -on -one body contest, as you'll see here, Pierce sort of had his way uh, with Ben King. He'll grow into his body and he'll get stronger. But, you know, this sort of stuff, coming off at the right time, playing team-first footy and... He was interviewed after the game by the, the host broadcaster. You can just see the relief on his face for getting through a game like that. So, as I said, I really like the future of Fremantle. It's just really important that they have a strong back half of the year.